Okay, I'm gonna have you go ahead and we're gonna do some squats. Okay, I'm gonna get a 25 pound bar to go ahead and do it. Okay, stay here. Squats. How many? 20. Well, how many sets of 20? Two. You trying to kill me. Okay. Can I hold on to the grip area? Well, you're going to put it up on your shoulders, so you probably want to go wider. You keep it there? Yeah. We're going to be bringing it up over here. Okay. So you can grab it closer if you want. Most people, it's more comfortable to go wider, but it's up to you. What are you going to do? Okay? All right. There you go. Okay? Feet a little wider. Okay, remember what I said. When you go down, I want your butt back. Okay? Keep your chest up. Look straight forward. Let's go. 20. 20. Nice and slow. Lower down. Squeeze up. Okay? So sit back a little bit more. There you go. One of the things with Kelly is that we want to actually do a leg workout earlier in the week, but she's actually going to go ahead and kind of benefit for some of you girls out there how to do a proper squat. So we're not going to be doing a normal full leg workout. We're just going to give you an idea of what she does. Then go ahead and work on that booty back there. Lower it down nice and slow, squeezing it up nice and slow. But when you come to the top, okay, hold on a second. Have that rest finish, okay? We don't want to rest it on our shoulders, not hold it. Okay? okay? Alright. Okay. Am I holding it the right way? Yep, that's fine. Okay. Just so have it rest on the shoulders. There, there okay. you go. Yeah, you don't want to hold it because it makes it too hard. Okay? Bring our feet a little closer together. And slow. Good, take your time. More. Last one. Good, I got it. I'm going to hold you. That's fine. <laughs> again, once again, stretching the muscle out, getting the old blood out with all that lactic acid and all that burning stuff, and getting the good stuff in. Okay, why don't you tell the camera what you're telling me about your doctor with your niece, with your knees. Oh, I had an injury back in December of uh, 08, jumping on the trampoline. <laughs> <laughs> the nieces and nephews. But anyways, I pulled a, a muscle or a ligament. They couldn't really find out what it was after they did the scan. But lots and of it, was in your, it was in your knee? Yeah, like right about here. Okay. Lots of problems with my, leg, my knee, my leg would fall asleep on me. You know, if I sat too long, I'd be walk, like, limping. I was taking Ligaplex, seeing a chiropractor. Little results. But um, I just went to see her yesterday, and she was telling me how... You know, she was like, well, how's your knee? And I forgot it was a problem because it hasn't bothered me probably in the last three or four weeks. I told her I was training with you, and she said, well, that's probably from re-strengthening those muscles. So Exactly. It's been a benefit health-wise, too. One of the biggest things is I have a lot of people come to me with knee surgeries, hip replacements, knee replacements, shoulder, sur shoulder surgeries, rotator cuff surgeries. And people don't realize that your muscles would hold your body together. So if you're going to strengthen your muscles around, especially around a joint like the knee, it's going to help pull everything tighter together. It's going to help create more tension on the inside. So now your, your joint cannot glide or cannot move because you can't any kind of problem. So a lot of times, you know, we people who have knee replacements, and we, we go ahead and we strengthen up the muscles around that knee, working on the muscle, not working on the joint. It helps pull the entire joint tighter. So bottom line, joint don't hurt no more. Okay, one more set, huh? A lot of times if you're doing, if you're doing squats, you don't have to do them correctly. When you, when you squat down, you never want your knee going over your toe because it's going to cause you problems. So we'll put a seat behind somebody so that when they squat back and put their butt back, if they go down too far, if they're a little one unsure of themselves, they're just sitting on their butt. Okay? Let's go. Chest up and just go. No. We'll continue. Keep going. Good. Look straight forward. Rest that bar on your shoulders. Rest it. Rest it. Don't hold it. There you go. Good. Up. Good. Very good. Keeping the chest up, the abs tight. Good. And just, just sitting back. There you go. Well, just sitting back. <laughs> How many more? Three more. Two more. One more. Good. Best thing about the squat, it works the overall leg. So, ladies, if you're looking to pick that butt up a little bit off the back of your thigh, Squeeze it together, get that nice little shape to your butt. Squats are the best overall exercise. It's going to work the back of your legs, your hamstrings, your quads, your front of the legs. It's going to, as Kelly said in her case, it's going to go and strengthen that knee joint as well. And it's also going to go ahead and set from that butt up. Go ahead and stay here, stretch, get some water.
I we're good. think we're only halfway through. Huh? I said it's a think we're only halfway through. Uh, a little bit more than halfway. Okay. So, you're a little late this morning. I was. Okay. Accident on 385. Let's go ahead and uh, show the people out there how we do some lunges, but just a short, just a short bit. Then we're going to come back and finish up our body up, okay? okay. Want to bring your stuff with you? Come on. One of the great things about the United Center here, as you can see, is we actually have an indoors track. So, Joe, if you want to kind of scan that for us. So what that allows us to do, guys, is bring you out here for a lot of sh uh, strength training. Like we're going to do some lunges, but also we do a lot of sports training on here. We do a lot of sled training, speed training, marathon training. So it gives us a lot more access to do things that you'd have in a, in a normal, gym, uh, normal gym setting. Even if you just want to come in here and walk. And um, we'll do some walk around, something like that. We have, we have that cap capability here with this suspended track that we don't have other places. Okay. Let's hit some lunges. It's okay. Big step. Good. Hey Joe, if you want to get here on the side and kind of, I want you to see the form. See that she's going to take a big step forward. You'll notice that she'll bring both her hands to the knee that she steps out with. And the reason why is that's going to help her provide her balance as well. But she keeps her body upright the entire time and her abs tight. Okay, okay let's turn around. So we go towards the camera. Okay. We do use a lot of plyometrics mesh as well. I know that a great way to use a cardiovascular because your heart rate will get up as you're doing these squats and these lunges. When you're okay. doing that working, when you feel it, the next day. <laughs> or three days after that. Okay, we're going to finish here with just 15 bodyweight squats. So, I hit legs wide, arms straight out in front of us. Okay, now our goal and I'll show Kelly this first, is to go down as low as possible and squeeze back up, okay? And one thing when you're doing squats, you never want to just go ahead and fall down. You want to lower down with the muscle. Because if you just fall down, you're letting gravity take yourself down. Also, if you just fall down, you don't have to build the tension in the muscle, so now all that weight goes right to your joint. Well, if you lower down with the muscle, again, we're, we're keeping on the muscle, we're building that muscle, we're protecting the joint, okay? Very important. Okay, let's go. Yeah, show that in front of us. Uh, one. Don't lock your knees at the top. Just come to a nice soft, nice soft lockout. There you go. Two. Three. Four. Good. Doing your bodyweight squats, I guess, is a great way to get some exercises at home as well. Sometimes it is difficult to get to the gym. No excuses, but if you travel, if it's tough. You can do a lot of things just at home or, or in a hotel room. Squats, lunges in place, a lot that? of things you can do. Keep going. Don't fall down. Five more. Five. Easy. Go down. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go right now. Okay, I'm coming. Okay. Let's go. Four more. Four. Slow down. A little slower. Uh, good. Also, your body weight squat, you can actually go deeper than you can with the barbell because it's a little bit more natural movement. Last one. Okay. Let's stretch it out right here, girl. Once again, the cardiovascular. <laughs> Cameron, man, you might want to get right in here on this face on this one because we got some good sweat going on here. I'm sure there'll be a little mild cursing underneath her, you know, inside of her head. So this is this 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 can be a good face shot right here. I'm not gonna charge, uh, curse in the place of the Lord. <laughs> no, it's inside. It's right. inside. It's inside. <sighs> Come on. It'll start setting in about. It'll start setting in about nine. All right, let's let's go. One, two, three, four. Take your time. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There it is. Eleven, twelve. Good. Come on. Come on. Don't quit. Don't quit right now. Let's go. Seven more. Seven, six, five, four. Three, two, and one. Good. So lean forward and stretch it out. One of the great things about push-ups, especially for, for ladies, a lot of women think that's mostly a man exercise, but that's not true. Push-ups are going to go ahead and tone your overall arm. So ladies, you're looking at going out and working that tricep, that back of the arm. It's going to tone those up. But also on top of that, it's also going to work on your chest. So it's a very good functional exercise that you can do, again, anywhere at home, if you're traveling on the road, or even in the gym, too. For Kelly's chest, we actually do a lot more than just the push-ups. We normally do a lot of cable flies, some dumbbells, some barbells, stuff like that as well. But this is a great way to kind of work it in. And we'll use the push-ups in between workouts or in between sets of a different exercise to keep our heart rate up and we'll work our whole, our whole overall body. Okay?